Welcome back to another BD Outdoors Weekly Roundup. So for this week, I wanna talk about kelp paddy fishing and what makes people most successful when they're out there. Whether it's on a kelp paddy, it's open water, it's full speed, whatever the case may be. These are some of the things that are making people the most successful when they're out there. And these are some tips for you to take on your next trip. So the first thing you might notice is that the same people are getting bit. So maybe they have a couple setups when it's full speed, maybe bait isn't working. So they might change out to a jig, a Zakana, Colt Sniper. Maybe those jigs will provoke a better reaction than the live bait will. So it's just one of those things that you switch out, you try to feel what each patty will react to the best because every spot you go to will be different. Another thing is the people that are constantly changing out their bait are the ones that are getting bit. They're the ones that after 15, 20, 30 seconds, if they're not bit, their bait is off, they're back at the tank, they're changing up their bait. You know, we see a lot of people that come up to the bait tank and they look at the fish that are presented to them. They might just choose one because that's the only one that's there, but you really need to be picky about the kind of bait that you choose. If your bait literally isn't pulling line from your spool, that bait will not get bit, especially when they're full speed all around the boat. That bait will not get bit if you're the only person soaking that bait for the whole stop. You wanna be continuously changing out that bait. Another thing we notice is that, say some person down the line has a fish on. So the fish is coming down, down the rail, your line is over that fish, we see a lot of people that just plant their feet and they don't move. This causes a lot of problems, not just for you, not just for the person who has a fish on, but for people around you too. If your line is really flagged out and there's other people whose line is really flagged out, you're gonna get in tangles. It happens all the time. So when we say you wanna keep that line right in front of you, imagine your body being a clock at the rail. You want your line 12 o'clock right in front of you. So if you see someone um, above you has a fish on and they're coming down the rail, if they're underneath you, just step behind, make sure they are able to get underneath you. That way you're not getting in a tangle, that person is able to get their fish and you're free of any problems, okay? So these are just some of the things that we notice. Hopefully you guys can take some of these tips but most important is situational awareness. Be aware of your surroundings. Look and see, maybe fish are boiling on the other side of the boat. That's a spot that you should be at. Look at the deck hands, look at their body language, ask questions. That's what we're here for. We're excited about fishing just as much as you are. So make sure you guys go out there and go get them.